And so here's our problem. This isn't a matter of a key either. I've tried several keys. It's been going on for a while. And now, half time I finished up other work. Looks like I'm going to be replacing the ignition switch in this Dodge Caravan. Okay, first up on this caravan, let's disconnect the battery. We're going to be working around the airbag. We don't want any possibility of this thing inadvertently going off. So, let's eliminate that possibility. Okay, next up we have to take some panels, covers off. This one right here on the underside of the steering wheel has to come off. And also this one is down here on a parking brake. So we're going to take these screws out. One more over here on the side. Now I'm going to have to use a right angle on that one. Over here on the side, either a stubby or a right angle screwdriver. Always a good idea to stash them away in an egg carton or some similar receptacle. Looks like they've stashed a couple screws under here as well. Okay, you can just leave this dangle now. Of course, the parking brake cable is going to hold it in. So, that's sufficient to get it out of the way. Okay, so these three that are this cover right here are uh, a number two Phillips. So just work all three of these out. In case we've got them all out. Phillips are holding these two pieces. Now these two are snapped, snapped together. So just separate those two. You know, gently like that. We got them apart. And now we can see what we're, uh, we need to work on next. If there's an ignition switch there. Now let's see if we can get this out. There's a key switch. Still a little cover on there. Get to get a better look at what's going on under here. I'm taking this off too. This little piece is just sits right underneath the dashboard. And right underneath the uh, dominator, there's two screws. I took the one on the other side up already. And then this piece just pops up. Pops out of, up and out of the way. Okay, next we're going to take out this little cover here. Here's a couple of uh, screws holding it down. So now we can get at the entire mechanism here. Okay, so it turns out that's a T20 down in here, Torx. I've got my ratchet here. So this will work. I'll get these Torx out of here. I'm getting enough, taking enough stuff out now. Make sure you label it so it goes back right. My experience with this kind of work, you're just better off taking off as much as you need, regardless of what somebody's instructions might have said. All right, so we get this one. It's a long one. It's a very long one. There it is. That one's a little different. In case we'll take its buddy off and get this cover off. It's a little jiggle and wiggle. And off comes that piece. 
I mean, we have like a bare naked uh, steering column now. Okay, the release for this uh, lock switch is underneath here. So what we're going to need to do is take out this little black cover here. You have to get under these little um, clipped on arms that are 90 degrees apart. You can see one on this side. There's one on this other side too. Get under that with a screwdriver. There. Now, this out of the way, you see right under here, there's a little lever, little catch, pushes in. Okay, the key switch has to be in the on position to pull this out. Right now, we've got it in the, there's the run, of course, spring loaded. There's the on right there. Here it comes. Okay, now you can see now the little tab here. Little spring loaded locking lever, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we had our lock redone at a Dodge dealer. They basically rebuilt it, changed out the springs and tumblers. So, to put it back in again, again, make sure that this is. Uh, the little spring-loaded um, part here is in the on. The ignition switch is in the on position, so that'll turn in. And you have it in that position. You should be able to get snapped back into place there. Okay, now we can take it out. It's kind of in the way. Seems to be working fine, except it sticks a little bit. It's a new key they cut. Okay, so we'll slip this back on. And the next piece that in order that went back on is this one. It goes over here. Okay, it's gotta go on the other side of this shifter here. There, that does it. I guess that one works better if you put it on from the left side first. So now we're going to take the two Torx screws and put those back in. Okay, I'm turning these Torx screws in. I'll finish those off. Alright, that's good. Okay, next up we'll put this facing piece that goes under the instrument bezel. There's a couple screws for that. That's one over here and one on the opposite side. Put those in. Okay, next are the two pieces that uh, snap together in the middle here. Got one there and you've got the other one here that goes underneath. They snap together and then get held by three of these longer screws. So we'll put these three in. And our final screw. All that's remaining is this piece, the one with the parking brake attached to it. We get this back in position, screw it down with about five screws, and we'll be done. As you may have remembered, there are two of them that fit up here underneath the parking lever, release lever. So we'll get those two first. And three, and we done.
hey, we're back in business. Thanks for watching this video.